to Tobacco Reviews, Nightly Tobacco Reviews, where I am your knight in shining armor. <clears throat> That's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and look, you don't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you get what you need. That's my quote personally. Um, Here's another review that I did because I just smoked it and I thought, I'm smoking this tobacco on a semi-regular basis. Why? Because I like it, obviously. And I'm not wearing any hat right now, excuse me, or any helmets because my wife doesn't want to cut my hair anymore. So she's out, so I'm boycotting haircuts. And this is the reason why I'm not wearing a hat right now. I wanted to show you. All right, so with that done, the tobacco today is GLP's Old London Series, Sixpence. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Sixpence to me, and he has a little saying on, on, the, um, on the tin, which... I enjoy very. I enjoy very much when when the uh, designer of a blend creates a narrative. It, it makes it fun, and that's what pipe smoking is to me: is fun, relaxing, and just time for me. Okay, it's my time. Uh, you got to learn to like yourself, learn to love yourself, be be forgiving with yourself because we're always hardest on on ourselves be nice to yourself as if you would be nice to a stranger asking for help what are you any different what are you any different what are you green you know what i'm saying so the glp's london series six pence now i don't know how much six pence is um I'm Canadian, so I'm sure it's got to be like, I don't know, uh, $500,000. So, six pence for me is a sit-down tobacco, a contemplative tobacco, a tobacco that is earthy, citrusy, a dark citrusy. Um, it's got character in terms of floweriness you gotta go looking for it uh there's perique in here kentucky and virginia i like the kentucky gives me a smoky hickory like taste but you're not gonna taste the hickory you really gotta focus on the kentucky to taste the hickory um it's a little it's not tart but it's there. It's not like those sour candies, you know, you take it, which that would be great to have a tobacco that's like that sour. And the pipe I would smoke this in would be a medium pipe. Don't, sm well, don't smoke this in a big pipe, a big bowl, because it's, it's a pronounced tobacco. Um, the nicotine doesn't affect me. I'm a seasoned smoker. Um, the taste is full and rich. It's complex, woody, like I said, earthy. There's dark fermented hay. I don't know if you've ever smelt fermented hay, but if you know a farmer and he rolls his hay, there's a reason why they leave it out for a while. Um before serving it to the to, to to the public cows. If you stick your nose in there, you're going to smell a fermented, uh, tardy smell, which is pretty cool, man. And it's, it, it's very pleasant. And the cows, eh, they get a little hammered from it. What's wrong with being hammered if you're a cow? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what awaits you. <laughs> but anyways... This tobacco, um, as I said, is a sit-down tobacco. It's a um, evening tobacco. That's just what I think sometimes. 
like I said, I like to create a narrative when I smoke. It's all in the fun. It's all in your head. It ain't hurting anybody. And you're having a good time. And what else you're going to do in life but want to have a good time. You know what I mean? We pay enough taxes in our life. That uh, at one point, you know, you're going to want to sit down and, and, and bitch about those taxes. Uh, this is a tobacco that helps you bitch about those taxes. But in a, in a very diplomatic, gentleman way. Because it's the London series. What would I eat with this? Or what, what precedes this type of meal? A steak. A meat. Uh, I would say beef, I would say beef, lamb, lamb would be good with this, oh my god, lamb, a nice, a nice red wine, pronounced red wine, don't go Frenchy, if you're gonna go Frenchy, go high end and get a, um, get a Bordeaux or get a, uh, a Coderon, yeah, Coderon, but I would go Italian with this, or Spanish, I would have a, uh, Old Vine Spanish, uh, what do they call it? Well, whatever they call it, Old Vine Spanish. Uh, Italian, I would go with a pronounced Amarone. Oh, yeah. But that's an expensive evening. But, hey, you're worth it. <laughs> in, all, in all honesty, what, you're not worth it? So, GLP's tobacco is a tobacco that will stay in my rotation. I bought an 8-ounce tin because I read the I read the reviews and I said uh, the, the the description and I said, "Yeah, this is something I would like." I was not disappointed. I like it. It's been in it's been jarred for probably 6 months and it does get mellow. And it's a nice mellow richness and it's funny concerning mellow uh, concerning aged and non-aged tobacco of the same blend now uh, as in wines when bordeaux wines come out they have the young bordeaux which are um interesting in themselves because they are a, a little effervescent they're young and you know what it's going to be like if you age this 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 wine same with the tobaccos it's jeremy reeves once told me buy three tins if you ever buy um if you ever want to try a tobacco you buy one tin you open it up you smoke it you know and you're like mm. and if you like it well once you've downed that tin you can open another tin age that third tin and buy more the guy's not just a pretty face, Jeremy Reeves. He's smart, too. Good blender. I like his blends. Very interesting blender. So with that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is my review of the London series by GLP's Six Pence. So please, like and subscribe. It's, I enjoy that. My numbers are going up, and it just gives me more incentive to do more. Have a great day.